anything else, I want you to do something right now. Think of the last time you went shopping, grocery store, Amazon, anywhere. Now tell me in the comments what was the weirdest combination of items you bought together. I'll wait for 10 seconds. All right, here's what's insane. Whatever combination you just wrote, there's an 87% chance that hundreds of other people bought those exact same weird items together. And guess what? Companies are making millions by predicting these patterns. Amazon is making $2.9 billion annually just from their customers who bought this also bought feature. That's more than the GDP of some countries. And today I'm going to show you exactly how they do it and how you can use the same system. Here's my bold promise to you. In the next few minutes, you will go from what is market basket analysis to wow, I can actually do this. And I'll prove it with a live challenge. Now, before we get into the details, let's quickly see what we're going to cover in this video. First of all, we'll have a look at what is market basket analysis and why it's so important in retail and beyond. Then we'll see how does market basket analysis work, the mechanics with real life examples. Then we'll have a look at the types of market basket analysis, predictive versus differential, and what's the difference. Applications, how it help in retail, e-commerce, healthcare, and more. We'll also have a look at association rules and algorithms and how they find patterns. Hands-on Excel case study, and I'll show you how to run market basket analysis using real data. Now, if you're ready to level up your decision-making skills with AI, you are in the right place. I am Cozy Code Professional Certificate Program in AI-powered decision-making is just what you need. In this 10-month live online course, you'll gain these skills to strategically apply AI in real-world business scenarios, enhance your decision-making abilities across marketing, finance, operations, and more. You'll learn from esteemed IAM Cozy Code faculty on executive education and humanized status and get the chance to experience a three-day campus immersion. Not only understand how to leverage AI tools like Tableau, Power BI, Weka for data analysis, but also gain practical experience through real-world project and case studies. And the best part is, on successful completion, you will earn a certificate from one of India's top business school, giving your career a major boost. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and enroll now and you can find the course link below. If you are at a store buying chips and you notice soda is right next to it, what do you think is happening there? Your options are, the store is just being helpful, chips and soda are frequently bought together, it's a coincidence or they ran out of shelf space. Let me know your answer in the comment section below and I'll explain it in just a few minutes. Now first, let me tell you a quick story to illustrate how market basket analysis works. Meet Sara, a sales manager at an electronic store and her colleague John is a data analyst. They've been tasked with improving sales, but their store sales data is a chaotic mess. Sarah and John begin by looking at the transaction records from the last month. They realize that people who bought laptops also tend to buy mic and keyboards together. But Sarah wondered, how can they predict other combinations that aren't obvious? Now, that's when John suggests using a priori a popular algorithm for finding associations between products based on historical data. So, what they did is they work with binary data essentially, a table where products are listed across the top and each transaction shows where the item was bought. So here, 1 is equals to yes and 0 is equals to no. Let's say for example, laptop is 1 over here, mouse is 1, keyboard 1. This indicates this combination was purchased. Now, once they have this table, John runs a priori, which helps them find patterns in the data, like how people who buys laptop often buys external hard drives. Now, all thanks to the algorithm, they now know which new products to recommend when customers buy a laptop. But wait, what if they need more specific insights? Sara is also interested in knowing which product combination perform best. Now that's when they go deeper with confidence and support to measure the strength of these patterns by filtering the rules with high support and confidence. They can craft targeted promotions like buy a laptop, get 20% off on the mouse. And so by using this particular analysis, 
services, Sarah and John were able to boost sales, recommend better product combos and even optimize store layouts. And that's what we are going to explore today. Now let's dive in deeper and I will explain you all the key concepts step by step. So what is market basket analysis? Now that you have seen how it works, let's define it properly. Market basket analysis is a data mining technique used to identify patterns in customer purchase. By analyzing large data sets like sales, records, businesses can uncover which items are frequently bought together. You can think of it like a detective trying to connect the dots between the products. Let me give you a real life example here. So if you have ever been suggested frequently bought together on Amazon, that's how market basket analysis works in action. How it helps is retailers can use this particular analysis to enhance inventory management, create targeted marketing, optimize store layouts and even predict future trends. Now let's talk about how does market basket analysis work. So here's how market basket analysis works in practice. The first one is data collection. Collect transaction records, what customers bought, when and for how much. The second process is pre-processing, cleaning the data, removing irrelevant items or sale outliers. Then we have frequent item sets, identifying combinations of items that are frequently appearing together using algorithms like a priori. Then we have generate rules. Based on these frequent item sets, we create association rules like if a customer buys laptop, they are likely to buy a mouse as well. Support and confidence. Measure how often these combinations appear and how likely they are to occur. This is where support and confidence come into play. Interpret result. Businesses use these rules to make strategic decisions like crafting cross-sell opportunities or tweaking product placements. Now that you have understood how market basket analysis works, let's move on and understand the types of market basket analysis. So basically, there are two types of market basket analysis. The first one is predictive market basket analysis. Second one is differential market basket analysis. Let me explain you each step by step. So the first one is predictive market basket analysis. This is used to forecast future customer behavior. Now it helps businesses understand cross-sell opportunities by identifying items that frequently appear together. This is a great way for personalizing recommendations. Let's suppose for example, Amazon uses predictive market basket analysis to suggest complementary products based on your past purchases. Now, the second type is differential market basket analysis. Now, this one compares customer segments to find differences in buying habits across region, demographics or time periods. Let's suppose an example here is a local store which may use this to compare what city customers are buying versus rural customers. Now, this helps them offer localized deals. Now we'll understand the applications of market basket analysis and we'll see where is it actually used. Now market basket analysis isn't just for retail, it's used everywhere. The first one is retail and e-commerce, cross-selling products, improving product recommendations. Second one is healthcare, prescribing combinations of medications that are often used together. The third one is banking, offering bundled financial products, savings account plus insurance. It is also used in telecom, combining phone plans with internet and TV bundles. Now, market basket analysis is everywhere because businesses love insights that help them predict and optimize customer journeys. Let's talk about association rules now and what do they actually mean? Now, association rules are at the core of market basket analysis. These rules predict relationship between two or more items. Let's say, for example, if a customer buys laptop, they will also likely to buy a mouse. In technical terms, we use support and confidence to measure how strong the rule is. Support tells us how often items are bought together, Confidence tells us how likely it is that one item to be bought when the other is. 
Now that you have understood what are association rules, let's move on and understand what type of algorithms are used in market basket analysis. So basically, there are a few famous algorithms used in market basket analysis. The first one is a priori. Now, this algorithm helps us find frequent item sets in data. It's simple and easy to understand, but can slow with large data sets. The second one is FP growth. This one is faster and it doesn't need to generate candidate item sets. Third one is AIS and SETM. Both of these are older algorithms, less commonly used today, but still helpful in smaller data sets. I'll give you a pro tip. If you're working with a large data set, FP growth is often the best choice for you. Now, let's jump on into Excel case study example. So I'll give you a scenario here. You run a small online store that sells various products. You are looking to find which product customers often buy together. Let's say for example, customers who buy shirt might also buy jeans or shoes. This analysis help you identify cross-selling opportunities so you can recommend products that are likely to be purchased together. Now, I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step breakdown. So here I have my Excel sheet ready. So the first step would be preparing the data. Since I have already prepared the data, I'll just show you how I did it. Now, what you need to do is you need to create a simple data set in Excel. Let's suppose you have 10 transactions, rows and 5 product, which is columns. So now, as you can already see, I have got 10 transactions in rows and I've got 5 columns in data, which is the shirt, jeans, shoes, jacket and hat. So these are basically the products, the column one and the rows one are basically the transactions. So here my products are shirt, jeans, shoes, jacket and a hat. Since each row represents a transaction, you will mark a 1 if the product was bought and 0 if the product was not bought. So I have already marked 1 for the product which has already been bought and 0 for the products which are not bought here. So the first step was creating this table. Now second step is to create the association rules. Here I have already created my table for this as well. A priori algorithm is typically used to generate association rules, but in Excel, we can manually calculate combinations and their frequencies. Now, for more simplicity, we will focus on finding pairs of product that are often bought together. So, by using the algorithm, I have already mentioned the support and the confidence here, and these are the products and these are the product too. Now let's talk about how did I calculate support and confidence. Now support is the percentage of transactions that include both product in the pair. Whereas confidence is the likelihood that customers who buy one product will also buy the other product. Let's say for example for the pair of shirt and jeans. So I have my strong rules tab over here and these are the product shirt and jeans and again the product tool jeans and shoes. Okay. Now Support is if 3 out of 10 transactions include both shirt and jeans, then the support is 30%. Whereas in the case of confidence, if 5 transactions include shirt and 3 of them also include jeans, then the confidence is 60%. Now the fourth step is filtering strong rules. We'll focus on pairs with a high support and confidence. Let's say for example, if the support for shirt and jeans is 30% and the confidence is 60%, we might consider this as a strong rule. Now the next step is creating cross-selling strategy. Based on strong rules, you can identify which product should be cross-sold. Let's say for example, if the rule is shirt plus jeans, which has high support and confidence, you can target customers who bought a shirt with a recommendation for jeans. Now, the next step is automating and improving. I've already mentioned here. Now, what happens in this step is as you get more transactions data, you can regularly run the analysis to find new patterns. Now, if you want a detailed version of this Excel sheet, just comment down below and I will share it with you right away. Next, we'll see how a priori algorithm is used. So, the a priori algorithm is used to mine association rules in a data set. So, basically, it works by identifying frequent item sets based on support. 
support generating association rules from these frequent item set and then rules are then filtered based on confidence and lift the a priori algorithm is essential tool for market basket analysis where we find product combinations that are often bought together now the final step which i'm saying you is the shell script you can follow this script to build your data set calculate support and confidence so guys today you learn the core concepts of market basket analysis from support and confidence to predictive analytics and actionable rule now you can apply these techniques to help businesses increase sales optimize product and better serve customers if you enjoy this tutorial don't forget to subscribe for more such insights on data analysis and machine learning i'll see you in the next video